and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's warrant. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, I must hear luck. MJ mission. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. I need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me, the lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. All right, so they're doing a security sweep. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back up. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back security upstairs. Security rooms open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. Hello. We finally get away I to disarm the guard. I love to meet you. We're in charge. Okay. Hey, night. I like this thing. Yeah. Gotta turn him around. You know what you should do? Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Alert. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm. Stupid, useless button. Hmm. 
Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna Beautiful, find it. Beautiful, um, penthouse thing. Blueprint. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Kinda looks like a green goblin mask if you ask me. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Yep. I wonder where it leads. It definitely looks like a green goblin mask, if you ask me. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. June. Hey, this must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Goblins. Foreshadowing a future. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Mm hmm. Self diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? No, it would be. Law books. 
Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I'll stay here for a minute. Let's anyone who wants to read it, read it. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Oh, 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 go. Fuck. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Wait! Fuck. This is why I hate the mission, because <laughs> it's like... Pete, Norman's oh, cure is ready. Yeah. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Control. Status. Nothing to report. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. G 
FTR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Yep. Jack o' lantern grenades from Green Goblin. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Yep, yes, he sure does. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Huh. This shows all of Oz's sable troop deployments. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Wow. So many records facilities. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I... We'll be it's right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. She did a poor search of the uh, room. Pete, I've got the lab location and a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
need to clear that balcony. Crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> she is a redhead. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. And that's our episode, right there. I have to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There so... must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Thank you guys for watching us. Okay, see you in the next Norman's one. on his way. <laughs>